Hello students, good morning all of you. Due to this coronavirus, you all have to stay at home and keep your learning properly with us. And we people are providing you all these online videos just to continue your study. So continue your study from your home only. No need to go outside from your house. Okay. Okay. Today I am going to teach you the subject EBS Environmental Science. We continue with this. Okay. Welcome everyone. This is the class for subject EBS. Today I am going to give you a second lecture on chapter growing new plants. At first I go to give you the quick revision whatever I teach you in first lecture and after this quick revision I will give you some worksheet also. So stay at home, stay safe and save lives and keep your study continue from your home only. This is a video for class 5 and the, first the name of your first chapter is growing new plants. As we all know that the plant is the main source of food for everybody, for every creatures, for every man, human beings or animals. So a plant is very important thing for us. So why, why we grow new plants to maintain the food cycle, to maintain the continuous supply of food, we people are growing new plants. So the new plants can be grown by the process of reproduction. Any new plants which occur, which new, new plants occurs by the process of reproduction. Reproduction is the process of producing the new ones of their own kind by by all living things whether it is hu human beings or animals or plants so uh, in first lecture we will already discussed about the how reproduction takes place in green plants what do you mean by seed dispersal seed dispersal is the process of spreading seeds to different places is called the seed dispersal seed dispersal how seed dispersal occurs to dispersal with the help of wind dispersal with the help of water dispersal of seed by animals also and dispersal of seed by explosion i already teach all these things all this method of dispersal now one by one dispersal by wind dispersal by wind some plants like maple cotton hiptage and dandelion seeds are very light in weight that's why it easily flew from easily blown by the wind so the these type of seeds are dispersal by the help of wind these seeds are easily carried by wind now the next one is dispersal of seed by water how dispersal of seed by water takes place seed like coconut seed water lily and lotus seed are the example of some plants whose seeds are easily dispersed with the help of water because all these plants are already grown near the river area or near the water bodies and the coconut seeds is also light in weight and having rough like uh, roughish like structure which helps uh, helps it to e helps these seeds easily float on water they can float on water and are carried to far off places. So all these types of seeds are dispersed with the help of water. Now the next is dispersal of seed by animal. Animal eats fruit like apple, mango and thrown the seed anywhere. जैसे हम लोग भी कोई फल खाते हैं और कहीं भी उसको फेंक देते हैं तो सम सीड्स और वैसे जो सीड्स होते हैं और जिसको फेवरेबल कंडीशन मिल जाता है फेवरेबल एनवायरनमेंट मिल जाता है वो न्यू प्लांट में डेवलप कर जाते हैं सम सीड्स लाइक वीट बेरीज एंड आर डिस्पर्स बाय बर्ड्स और dispersal of seed by animals so we animals ka example and then after that birds ka the example is so some seeds which dispersed by the help of birds just like wheat wheat ka seed ho gaya ya fir berries small seeds which is carried by bird with the help of bird these seeds are dispersed from one place to another the next one is dispersal of seed by explosion how explosion takes place some plants like pea pea matar hota hai ya fir bean balsam peanut etc brust all this type of seeds when it becomes ripe it automatically burst open when they are ripe and scatter the seeds in all direction and when they become 
when they become ripe they burst and when it opens the ripe uh, seeds on the, or the ripe fruit will scattered here and there in all direction so these types of seeds dispersed with the help of explosion when fruits become ripe or when fruits become mature it all it automatically explodes and then seeds are dispersed in all direction this is the method by, in which we see all these methods of dispersal of seed and uh, also how the reproduction takes place with the help of seed now the reproduction by roots various type various parts of plants takes place in reproduction as i already told you that reproduction with the help of seed with the help of root with the help of a stem with the help of leaves and with the help of spores now the second one is reproduction by roots some plants reproduce and gives the grow their new plants with the help of uh, roots so plants like radish turnip carrot and sweet potato have roots that store food in them some plants like radish gajar turnip uh, sorry turnip carrot and sweet potato have roots that store food in the stem and all these type of uh, uh, food are grown from the roots now द ट्यूबरस रूट जो इसका ट्यूबरस रूट होता है ना इस टाइप से इसका फल होता है जो कि मिट्टी के अंदर होता है इसका जो ट्यूबरस रूट होता है ये ट्यूबरस रूट जो है वो न्यू प्लांट में डेवलप कर जाता है और फिर वो ग्रो कर जाता है तो द ट्यूबरस रूट कंटेन स्मॉल बर्ड्स विच गिव राइज टू अ न्यू प्लांट अंडर फेवरेबल कंडीशन वेन इट टेक्स द फेवरेबल कंडीशन इट ग्रो इन टू न्यू प्लांट और इट डेवलप इन टू न्यू प्लांट दीज ट्यूबरस रूट कंटेन स्मॉल बर्ड्स विच नाउ फर्दर ग्रो इन न्यू प्लांट नाउ प्रोडक्शन बाई स्टेम सम प्लांट जो है वो अपना मतलब दे गिव देअर न्यू प्लांट बाय द हेल्प ऑफ स्टेम्स the some stems as for example from underground stems some plants like onion potato ginger all these grown inside the ground and all these are the types of stem or in the form of stems so these onion potato and ginger developed into new plant when it buried inside the earth it grows into a new plant now the stem cutting as we all know that money plant rose after the cutting the one uh, cutting stem uh, we develops a new plant as for example this is the plant of rose we cut from stem stem portion and plant that stem portion into a pot then it further grow into a new plant now the next one is grafting how grafting grafting this is the uh, this is the diagram which i have shown here uh, see this diagram this is the stem well developed stem after cutting this stem like this again after cutting it come it just only put one upon another then after that we um, keep some mud here and then wrap properly after some time here some roots are grown in this stem and then after that we grow a new plant and this portion which attached from the root or which attached from the ground is known as a stalk is known as a stalk and that further and and that part of the stem which further grow into a new plant is known as scion s c i o n scion okay now this is the all these all these are the reproduction by the help of stems underground stems in onion potato ginger by stem cutting like money plant rose by grafting like um, apple mango rose and also by layering reproduction by layering raspberries jasmine butter leaf plant all these plants grow new plant by the help of layering by the with the help of their stem stems and by layering when plant grow further it develop their 
stem and when a stem come inside the earth or a, in contact of soil it develops new root here and and here the new plant can grow easily and when uh, when the stems further go and uh, come in the contact of soil then it uh, this type of uh, formation or this type of with the help of their stems only these plants can grow the new plants now the next one is runner runner some plants which uh, just like creepers some plants like strawberry which develop horizontal stems and when these stems come in the contact of soil develops into a new plant all such type of plants is known as runners so now this uh, this is the reproduction by stem there there are five uh, five process from underground stem which is uh, uh, i already discussed stem cutting by grafting by layering or by runners with the help of runner a new plant can grow now the reproduction by leaves how reproduction by leaves takes place here i already drawn a diagram we all uh, we all see this type of uh, bryophyllum plant uh, in which a uh, leaves on the node of leaves from the node of these leaves a new plant grow when it come in the contact of soil uh, from the all all each and every node a new plant grow this is the reproduction by leaves this is a, this is the example of some plants which is bryophyllum and begonia these two examples in which a um, new plant can grow with the help of their leaves now the next one is reproduction by spores some plants like fern mosses in these type of plants up the, the spores presents in their leaves and each and every spores contain a small seed uh, with the help of these spores new plant is grown further hey i am giving you some questions uh, this is the lecture 2 uh, in this uh, in this uh, portion you have to match the follow i given here that match the following begonia reproduce by with the help of which part of the plant plant like strawberry have now the third one is if fern new in ferns new plant grow from fern fern mein kisse new plant grow hota hai roots of radish and turnip have roots and uh, radish ke turnip mein jo uske roots hote hain usme kya hote hain small fibrous like structure which contains buds new plants grow from the cut stem in new plants grow from the cut stem in which type of in मनी प्लांट न्यू प्लांट कैसे ग्रो होता है इसमें हम क्या करते हैं स्टेम का कटिंग कर लेते हैं मनी प्लांट रोज प्लांट तो दिस टाइप ऑफ प्लांट इज ग्रोन विद द हेल्प ऑफ बाइक विद द हेल्प ऑफ कटिंग द स्टेम्स यू हैव टू डू ऑल दिस थिंग्स एंड ऑल्सो मेक शॉर्ट नोट्स इन योर कॉपी